Hello, I'm Tim Wei. Deep learning has made enormous progress in many region tasks. Deep learning has made enormous progress in many region tasks. If we measure its performance gain over traditional methods, one can see that it has completely dominated in tasks that have lots of direct labels like object detection, semantic segmentation, human pose estimation, and so on. But for tasks where direct supervision is limited, such as intrinsic image decomposition, video segmentation, and dense pixel matching, deep learning has not made much inroad. For these tasks, the labels are inherently scarce, and this is particularly problematic for deep networks that typically require tons of label data during training. In this work, we tackle the general problem of learning without direct supervision, and in particular, focus on the task of dense semantic correspondence. In this task, we are given two visually related images, and the goal is to find dense pixel-wise correspondence between them. For instance, given these two images of cars, we will want our system to match wheels to wheels, headlights to headlights, mirrors to mirrors, and do so in a, pixel -wise, uh, in a dense pixel-wise manner. Form of spatial pyramids, tackle this problem by extracting To do feature matching. Not only do we not consider the rest of the visual world. In a collection of related images to bridge the appearance gap. Web paper presented at SVPR last year. This is often impractical. Collection of related images without storing them explicitly. The forward solution is to have a CLN that implicitly. pairs of test images at test time. One obvious way is to have humans label the flow back. Unfortunately, this solution is feasible. Points, which you want it densely for hundreds and thousands. It could take several hours to annotate a single image pair. It's out of the question. Is there another way to train us? Inside of our paper is to use the concept of cycle of semantic correspondence. Cycle consistency means for instance, for instance, in the case of two cycles, while the referral idea can be further extended. Again, here is an example of consistent risk. Our insight is to notice that. CNN. From motion and more recently collection correspondences. Consistency as a type of supervisory signal. flows that are cycle consistent but wrong. But does not provide a useful supervision signal. Your solutions.
this as the anchor edge for cycle consistency training. To obtain, to obtain non trivial ground truth correspondence, on the edge of the cycle to the synthetic correspondence, and train. Real to do synthetic to along the path of a cycle with the ground truth. Here, the composition of flow fields is done by accumulating the flow vectors from one image to the next, and is differentiable through bilinear interpolation. We can then formulate the training objective as minimizing the pixel distance between the synthetic ground truth flows and the transitive flows predicted by the CNN. Notice that we have a single CNN responsible for both synthetic to real and real to real correspondence. And again, the 3D CAM models are only used at training time. Our network follows the encoder decoder design with A convolution layers doing feature extraction from both input images and A subsequent fraction restricted convolutions to output a dense correspondence flow field at the end. But we're not done yet. Since the upper flow view is dense over every single source pixel, it could produce undesirable flows at background or regions occluded in a target image where the correspondence is not well defined. Therefore, we additionally train the CNN to output per pixel measurability score that indicates whether each pixel in a source image has a valid correspondence in a target. The measurability map is similarly learned via cycle consistency as the flow field. For more details on measurability learning, please refer to our paper or come to our post, our post after the session. In order to construct a training set, we utilize the bounding box and the viewpoint annotations on real images provided by Pascal 3D and the large-scale CAM models provided by ShapeNet. To form a training example, we first sample a real image pair from the Pascal 3D dataset and then use a standard image-to-shape alignment algorithm to retrieve a subset of CAM models to pair with the real images. We extract about 80,000 examples for each of the Pascal 3D categories and train a single correspondence network for all, all the categories. Now, let's look at some results. Our first experiment visualizes the alignment quality by warping the source image to look like the target image based on a predicted correspondence. This is a very challenging task since the two cars have significant pose and appearance difference. Not surprisingly, traditional methods like CFRO perform poorly on this task. And here is our, our warping result, which aligns with the shape of the target image much more closely and does not have severe distortions like CFRO. Let's look at another example, where the right half of the source car is occluded in the target car. Here's the, the warping result by CIFRO, and here's ours. One can see that our warping result not only aligns closely with the target car on commonly visible regions, but also infers that the right half of the car is occluded in the source and should not be warped. To quantitatively measure the alignment performance, we evaluate the key point matching accuracy on the Pascal 3D dataset. On this task, we are 4.4% better than CFRO overall, and about 10% better in categories like car, bus, bottle, and TV. Our next experiment evaluates the performance of measurability prediction. One can see that even though our network has not seen a single segmentation label in the real image domain during training, it is able to infer a rough segmentation of the object when a target is in a similar pose, like in the first example shown here, and does accurate occlusion reasoning when giving it a less aligned target, like in the second example. Overall, our network is 8% better than c baseline that thresholds the matchability based on the feature. Remember that the encoder power Scout images. Here's a car images based on the camera pose. Despite that, we did not 
training. As cross domain synthetic to real alignment through cycle For instance, since the foreground segmentation mask to real images to segment out foreground of label for real images during training, yet it's still a show that cycle consistency are not available. Consistency is a kind of meta supervision. But on how the data should behave, we believe that this idea could be quite powerful for a number of other domains where getting direct labels is not feasible. Thank you.